Whether you're a FIFA beast, a loyal Pez lover, or a football manager fanatic, knowing the fastest players in the world will only help you in life. Okay, so that type of info won't help you win over any ex-girlfriends, and it rarely comes up in any pub football trivia machines, but no matter what game you're playing, no matter what position you need filled, one of these guys will provide you with some burning pace, and what more could you need? Top Corner Gaming was at it again, smashing the database with every league in every division, and the best scout in the world, aka Liam Curtis, <coughs> that's me, He's filtered through almost 150,000 players to bring you this, the world's fastest 11 on Football Manager 2018. The sheer speed in this team is absolutely unrivaled. The quality? Meh, that's a little more questionable. But first out the blocks and we have Serbian 23-year-old goalkeeper Dijan Stanovukovic. He's actually pretty decent considering his 37k value, 80 quid per week wages and the fact that he plays in the Serb 1st Division. Which, by the way, that's their second tier. Yeah, his stats are alright, with 13 handling and 12s across the border. If you're a lower league club and looking for a blistering sweeper keeper, perhaps Dijan is your man with 16 acceleration and 16 pace. In defence, we're going to work with a classic back four, and of course, those wing backs are likely to be the fastest players on the pitch. So, at RB, we have Hector Bellerin. We won't focus on the Arsenal man too much, I mean, we all know about his blistering straight line speed, but effectively, the Spaniard is only one of three players who have both. Both 20 for acceleration and pace on the speed. Newcastle's DeAndre Yedlin ran a close silver, but he didn't quite get onto the podium. Moving on to the LB slot, and we have Dimitri Mitchell. He's an under-23 at Manchester United, and I could have yet again found you a tasty little gem for anyone looking to mould a modern wingback with an elite level track speed. 13 dribbling, 12 crossing, and enough ability to at least stand in an opposition's way with 10 for tackling. In reality, the 20-year-old has only made the one senior appearance for the Red Devils, running out against Crystal Palace in May earlier this year. He's still very much a hot prospect at the club and is a much-needed cover player in the fullback department this season. And, not forgetting, he's rapid. Charging into lane 3 and our first centre back is Daniel Noyoy. So the Romanian is 33 years old and has all the attributes to be one of the most frightening and physical defenders like ever. Not only does he have 20 for acceleration and 16 pace but he also has 19, 19 strength then 18 stamina and 19 natural fitness. This guy has got to be one of the biggest beasts on FM and to finish it off he also has 20 aggression. Hmm, maybe Daniel is actually this guy in disguise. Easy work right there, see that? Boom! So this beast of a Romanian plays in the second tier of his country, and we're sure playing against him is just absolute hell. Lane 4, Paulos Masehe. Again, bizarrely the South African is 33 years old, but even at that ripe age, he's still the second quickest CB on the game with 19 acceleration and 16 pace. He plays over in South Africa, and if you're looking for a utility player to chuck throughout the middle, well, look no further. From centre back to holding midfielder, centre midfielder, second striker, and even target man, Palos will do the job. Sign him up, guys. On your marks, get set and go. Let's race through the midfield with the first of two in the middle. You all know him, it's Ramirez. The former Chelsea man is the only CM with 18 or more for acceleration, combined with 20 stamina and 16 pace, 18 work rate too. He's an incredible physical presence with an abundance of technical qualities. Next to him, we have Al Sulahim. Ah, bit of a false start. Is he? With 17 acceleration and pace, Abdul slips in there in the middle, although looking at his stats, you'd definitely stick him out wide on the wing. The 23 year old has 16 dribbling, 15 technique and first touch and plays over in Saudi Arabia, which is probably why his value is grossly overinflated at 1 million. He's definitely not worth that. Now, moving out wide and the competition was incredibly fierce. Here we have Alex Kuomia. He was on our FM17 list for the fastest players, but this time the Doncaster player just misses out. Instead, on the left wing, we have Jean Armel Droll, who has 19 in both speed departments. I've even heard he's become a bit of a favourite on FIFA because of this burning pace, so considering you can wing him in on the cheap, let us know if you've signed him on any football games. From the left and moving to the right, we have Middlesbrough star Adama Traore, who again has 19 all round. Personally, I found it interesting checking out his history. Did you know that Adama spent four years in Spain with Barcelona before heading over to England with Aston Villa? And he's only 21 years old. There's still a lot of raw potential there and the Borough fans definitely rate him. Two up top, yeah, it's a classic 4-4-2 and what would a world's fastest 11 be without Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? He's one of the only players with 20-20 acceleration and pace, an absolute monster. Now, we should also have David Radaby next to him. Yep, 
you'll remember him from our FM17 list, Radaby is just as quick as Aubameyang despite being 9 years older at 37. He's a legend. In fact, considering he retired a while back, we think FM just kept him on the game as a sort of cult hero. We love you Radaby, but we're going to mix it up here instead. Alongside Aubameyang, we're going to have Larry Kiode. Now, here's a player you should probably keep tabs on. The 24-year-old is one of those Manchester City boys not getting a run in the first team. His 18 acceleration and pace has done some serious damage over the past few seasons though, hitting double figures for four straight campaigns in Israel and Austria before moving to the Etihad in a somewhat under-the-radar transfer. In real life, he's out on loan at Girona and you should definitely keep an eye on him if he continues to score goals. So that does it for HRTC Top Corner Gaming's fastest 11 in the world, but just so you can witness the other end of the spectrum here, we have the the one and only Ahmed Fadli Tamiri who plays in Singapore. He's uh, somehow only got one for acceleration and pace. I mean he's 20 years old and also has one stamina and four strength. I mean I think he could be made of paper mache. Anyway check out the videos up on your screen now and remember to like and subscribe. We are thinking about doing a world's worst 11 or is that just like one of the worst ideas ever? Let us know in the comments so we can make some plans.